simply tap on this SCD balance here and uh, we can see withdraw button here so just tap on withdraw so you can follow this process for other balances as well hello penny users thanks for landing here in this short video i'm gonna walk you through how we can exactly withdraw the funds available in our penny account to our local bank and that too using our mobile penny app so if you haven't downloaded this app you can just download it and it's free of course so once you have the app just tap on it to open and uh, if it's your first time you'll be asked to enter your username your email and your password so since i've been using this app for a very long time i just need to enter my password here so if you would like to switch the account then you can just tap on this three dot button which is at the right top and just uh, click on switch account and you can also change your language if you like to okay for now let me enter my password and just sign in all right so this is my penny account and uh, as you can see here many balances are here and that you know in order to withdraw the funds you just need to have minimum amount of 50 usd and uh, so right now i'm going to withdraw my balance from SGD to my local bank so in order to be able to withdraw the funds from your SGD balance you need to have minimum amount of 70 SGD so that's around like minimum of you know 50 USD so there are two steps either you go to your action here and just tap on uh, withdraw to bank so you'll be you know asked to choose your balance and just withdraw the funds but right now I'm going to you know just simply tap on this SCD balance here and uh, we can see withdraw button here so just tap on withdraw so you can follow this process for other balances as well okay so you can see minimum amount we can withdraw is 70 SGD and I have the balance of 81.19 SGD right now so I can either withdraw, you know, any any amount between 70 and the amount I have right now. So that's 81.19. So right now I'm going to withdraw 81 SGD. Okay. So I just need to enter the amount here. Mm, let me go with 81 SGD. So let me save 9, uh, 0.19 SGD right now and just withdraw 81 SGD. So once you enter the amount, just tap on review and uh, we will be able to see, you know, exchange rate here. So you can see the exchange rate is 87, uh, 1 SGD equals to 87.077901234 NPR. So that's in Netflix currency and deposit amount will be 7053.31 Nepalese rupees so if if i want to add any description then i can add it let's say beam okay just let me write my name here if you would like to you can just write otherwise you can just skip it so once you see the details you can see the withdraw at the bottom and just tap on withdraw button and I will be asked to you know, enter the code which has been sent it has been sent to my phone number and I just need to enter the code here okay once you have the code just paste here and it also says don't ask for a code when we're going to so for security reason I'm not clicking here I'm just leaving it as it is so that I'll be asked to enter the code whenever I uh, you know do the transactions here so once you are ready you can just tap on submit button so your phone will be deposited within one to two business days so once you are ready you can just click on submit button and uh, for your kind information if you withdraw your balances during the business days like monday to thursday then you will get your money within one to two days uh, one to two days or, or earlier than one to two days so let me hit on submit and uh, let me get the amount 
So the final step is just to hit on submit. So it's working on. As you can see here on the screen, it says withdraw beam Raj Kulungrai and minus 81 FZD. So it's pending. And we just need to wait for some days, I mean one to two days or if it's during the business days then they might send you the money earlier than one day or two days. So just wait for the messages and check your local bank account. So in this way you can withdraw the funds available in your penny account directly to your local bank using mobile penny app. So thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you found it useful. Just make sure to like and if you are especially new here, just make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thank you and stay tuned.